Barbara Cooney is an author that we are all very familiar with. She wrote and illustrated Miss Rumpheus and Oxcart Man. She also illustrated The Year of the Perfect Christmas Tree. Altogether, she has written and illustrated over 110 children's books. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's go back to where it all started. Barbara Cooney was born on August 6, of 1917 in Brooklyn, New York. She was actually born in a hotel that her grandfather built. Cooney aspired to be like her mother and began painting at a young age. Her mother was an amateur painter, but she had a profound influence on her daughter. Barbara actually wrote the book Hattie and the Wild Waves for her mother. This book is based on her mother's childhood growing up in a wealthy German-American family. Her mother spent summers in Maine near the ocean. The beauty of the ocean inspired many of her mother's paintings. Barbara not only got her artistic abilities from her mother, but also inherited a love for traveling. Barbara Cooney traveled to foreign countries such as Haiti, Switzerland, and Ireland. She enjoyed traveling because it taught her about the literature in other countries and how some of the most famous stories from other countries came from the culture. Traveling also inspired Cooney to paint beautiful foreign landscapes. Barbara attended Smith College and earned a degree in art history. She became serious about her career as an illustrator of children's books and began taking art classes at Art Students League in New York City to improve her skills. Her career as an author and illustrator were put aside when she joined the Army to fight in World War II. She worked her way up in the Army and eventually ranked as second lieutenant in 1942. After the war, Barbara Cooney refocused on art and found love in the process. She married her first husband, Guy Murchie Jr., and had her first child. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, and the couple split in 1947. Two years later, she remarried a doctor named Charles Talbot Porter and had three kids with him. Altogether, Barbara Cooney had four children. Barbara Cooney received two Caldecott medals for her illustrations. When Cooney accepted her first Caldecott medal, she gave a very important speech to her audience. She wants young readers to understand the important things of life, like good and evil, love and hate, and life and death. These are overall themes of many of her books. Real life is exactly what Cooney depicts in her book, Eleanor. This book is a picture book biography about the sad childhood of Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt eventually became the first lady of the United States when she married Franklin D. Roosevelt. She was brought up in a wealthy home, but endured horrendous abuse. Her mother made fun of her and often called her names. Her father was an abusive alcoholic. Eleanor had very low self-esteem and did not believe she was good enough. This book shows that no matter what happens in your life, you can always overcome it and become something greater. Eleanor Roosevelt was the longest serving First Lady of the United States. She was an activist for human rights and even became a spokeswoman for the United Nations. Eleanor went from being a shy, awkward, and insecure girl to a powerful and influential First Lady. This would be a great book to read to young children and especially to young girls. Barbara Cooney also uses the theme of real life and love in her book, Island Boy. This book is about a large, close-knit family that lives on an island in Maine. 
The family endures many hardships, but they never lose the love they have for each other. Love and family are both reoccurring themes in all of Barbara Cooney's works. Cooney received her second Caldecott Medal for the illustrations in her book, Oxcart Man. She used a method called scratchboard to create the illustrations in this book. Scratchboard is a type of art where you use different tools to engrave illustrations into clay. Cooney was well known for this type of art. Most of Cooney's books are inspired by her real life experiences and her own family. Barbara's book, Miss Rumpheus, is actually based on a real story of a woman named Hilda Edwards. She actually did plant lupine seeds around the coast of Maine. This book should inspire us all to try to make the world a more beautiful place. Barbara Cooney made the world a more beautiful place, not only by her beautiful illustrations, but by her kind heart. She wanted children to see the joy in her books and learn lifelong lessons that they could carry with them. Cooney donated $550,000 to a public library in her hometown out of the kindness of her heart. Barbara Cooney, she, she really loved her work. She loved her profession. She loved the people in the business, and she was truly one of you. Um, I assure you, this award presented by her peers would have meant everything to her. In her later years, as she was wrapping up her affairs, she wanted to do something meaningful for the main community that had become her spiritual home. Being the true scholar she was, her research in libraries was a hugely important and favorite part of her work. Taped on a lamp over her drawing table was a faded quote by Georges Louis Borges. I have always imagined that paradise will be a kind of library. She would help build her town a proper library, she decided. Shortly before she fell ill in 1998, she reached out to many of her old friends, fellow illustrators, some of whom are here this evening, I believe and invited them to take part in a fundraising auction of original children's book illustrations to help build a new, our 103-year-old Skadaka Library in Damascotta, Maine. And many, many, actually 75 artists contribute their work, contributed their work. The auction was, in her oft-used words, a howling success. <laughs> we raised $110,000 in one night. Barbara always dreamed of living by the ocean in Maine, and she eventually got her dream. Barbara Cooney passed away on March 10th of 2000. Her books will go on impacting readers of all ages and all walks of life. <laughs>